Super shocking. So Don is rolling through a little bit of crushed up green glass and he's going to melt that in. Now those little chunks of colored glass stick to the surface of our clear glass just because of the heat. Now, if you're wondering what actually colors the glass, the glass is colored by adding different metals and metal oxides to the clear glass. In the case of this green, it's probably a little bit of iron oxide. So Don is going to melt that in, and then he may or may not add a little bit of decoration before he sits down. Now you'll see when Don's working with this piece today, it's going to have that bright orange glow. This is in fact going to be a bright yellowish green tomorrow, but you won't see that the whole time that we're working with it today. So Don's going to sit down and shape the glass, and then you'll see him blow a little bit of air into the pipe. He'll strap that air in the pipe with his thumb. That creates an air pressure that has nowhere to go but into our piece. So watch this glass closely. You're going to start to see it expand just a little bit right there. And that is our air bubble forming. So this little bit of hissing that you hear is a little bit of compressed air. Don's using that just to chill the glass a little bit faster. He's chilling the glass to stabilize it so that we can go back into our furnace and add a second layer. Now the second layer of glass is what we call a gather. And remember, this glass is about the same consistency as honey. That's why we wanted to stabilize that core bubble. So Don is going to sit down at the bench. He's going to use a wooden tool called a block to shape, center, and cool the glass. And the reason that this wood doesn't catch on fire is that it's soaked in water. So any of our tools that are soaked in water, that water creates a layer of steam, and then the glass then rides on a little cushion of steam, so it doesn't really burn the tool up too badly at all. So in a moment, you'll see that Don will start to inflate the glass. He kind of goes back and forth between shaping and inflating the glass. Don will Now the reason he doesn't inflate the glass all at once is that this glass is still quite hot. If he were to overinflate it, it would collapse under its own weight. So you can see Don stretching this out, starting to inflate the glass, and he's creating what we call a jack line as well. Now the jack line is the little constriction that's right off the end of the pipe. And we call it a jack line because it's named after the tool that we use to make it right there, the jacks. So 